Good evening, sports fans. Right, let's finish this. Uh, let's finish this guy's head off. So we're going to do the hair now. Um, now, really straightforward, the hair. Um, assuming you are able to do tiny straight lines. All right. So, to be honest, the face is the same actually, but but you're looking at the ability to do tiny lines like that. Yeah, probably even smaller. So, you know, can be broken so it's size zero here. Um, so I'm actually going to start with the shade. The hair's been base coated in scorch brown. This method will work for whatever series of colours um, you want. But essentially, in between every hair, we're going to put a black line. Yeah, that line should be slimmer at one end, wider at the other, in other words, slimmer at the top, fatter at the bottom. Yeah. Um, not much fat, but fat. Doesn't matter if it's if it's pretty uniform as well, but whatever. And again, on on this guy's face, um, this side the sculpt is a little bit tricky. Like you can't, you don't really have a choice of where the hairs go on his, on his mustache. Um, so you just kind of have to do your best. All right. Oh, the ball's gonna get in the way here, isn't it? Okay, so let's just go one, two, three. Put one there, four, one there. Five, one there, six, one there, seven. Because they're a little bit easier to spot now. I'll use these ones as um, references to do this side. I really, in fact, I only really need that one. That'll do me. Okay, up onto his hair. And let's just split all these up with the black. Obviously, being careful his skin. I've done it this way um, just to keep it um, view a little bit better viewable for you um, I probably would have done it more like this um, let me know if it actually made a difference one two three four and uh, let's go right around his hair let's separate that one out Now this is it's really kind of a time and place to be careful. Now I'm kind of getting lost here, like my eyes are going a bit funny, so I'm going to do the one further over. That helps me then sort out and where the line in between goes. Here I'm breathing gently. So I'm just getting every line between each of the hair strands that's sculpted on the model so around the back here again tricky to see as well as sculpted a little bit not sculpted but cast a little bit uh, smooth there we go so the next stage well it's the same thing isn't it so this time with Mornfang. Fang. Um, and instead of going into the valleys, we're going up the peaks. Now, I'm not going to do almost any of these stages. Kind of like strong in any way. If I, if, if I really do this stage strong, his hair will start to turn this colour. I don't really want it to. I want it to stay quite dark for this guy. The other guy's got the light, the light, uh, the light hair. Um, oh, I forgot to do his little... Thing there under his lip, but anyway, so I'm kind of going to do these strands, kind of like in the bottom half of each of his uh, hairs. I'm not kind of going to do the full hair, and if I do do the full hair, it, um, well, let's say this is the length of the hair. Again, the, the, it will always taper off to a point. Any brush stroke I do. Brilliant. 
boobs. And the sculpt models is uh, a little bit unclear like this. I bring in the potential to make things look a little bit scruffy. Not that these are bad models, because they're really not, they're just excellent. But <coughs> when dealing with certain things, there is. Um, the casting process and its ups and downs to deal with. So I'm trying not to talk too much now because this just requires accuracy. And breathing can um, sacrifice that sometimes. Unless you deliberately breathing smooth out. Oops, wobbled there. Again, tricky area that on the model. Let's just put a couple of little Kind of like strands up where the crown is parting is. <coughs> Let's do the back. Oops. There we go. Brilliant. <coughs> get rid of that. Moving on up. And hopefully you get the idea. We're just going to keep going up through each colour, but each line we do. Will always be shorter than the previous line. This might be actually quite a big jump in colour. Might not want this. Um, because it's so light, might not have to go up to these. But we'll see. So we'll just do a couple of little tiny ones just to see how it looks. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Cool. Yeah. Notice again, I keep my consistency a little bit see through in this instance, or a little bit more see through than normal, should I say? eagle-eyed of you will notice that this is almost the same colour recipe as my leather and if there's no eagle-eyed of you then now you know you all should be eagle-eyed if you're not working on having good eyes for this type of stuff then you might need to Develop yourself. Start each of these. Let's make these have a stronger little uh, dot on the top of them. It's uh, worth it. In between each hair as well, just have a moment to make sure you're on target. Make sure you're able to focus clearly yeah, your vision on the line you're trying to put the, the highlight on and the tip of your brush. And chances are, if your brush is too far away, you won't be able to do that. So take your brush as close as possible without touching. Set your target and go, okay, right, ready, on. Notice I, I go back a lot now to the um, to the water pot. We've got a small amount of paint on the palette. A small amount of paint takes smaller amounts of time to dry. So you just got to manage that a lot more. Two, three, four. 
five. A little bit ropey there. Let's just give it a little couple of highlights to his parting in his crown on one side. Sweet. Now I might have to do this stage again. Remember, because it was see-through. Um, doing it again means it acts as a, another highlight. I might have done it too strong there. A couple of dabs to take that off. I'm just going to do these highlight steps on his chin. I'll just do the shade step in a minute. Hmm. Oops. Through that, you know. Let's get his bearded. Real thin, real small. He's been his beard pretty much consists of two hairs. Let's get them separated and get them outlined. Should I go lighter? I don't feel the need to, but I might <coughs> put in his sh the shade again. Just up in his hair. Just to really separate out each of the uh, components. I shouldn't mix that, mix that small. There we go, let's make it bigger. Again, just for drying time. Brilliant. Uh, just double check some of the shades on his tash. Yeah. Come up with that. Just a quick shade right up along. Oh. I lost focus there one second. Yeah, quick shade up along his beard. Under his cheekbone. Um, just getting behind his ear a little bit. Under his ear. And then, I just noticed his forehead where he meets his hair. Just looked a little, little bit lifeless. So, I'm just going to do a quick... Oops, quick mix of this. Just to kind of soften that area where those two things meet it's a subtle difference but it's worth it there we go and while I've got this dark brown here going to check his face to see if there's anything I'd really change about it. I've been thinking about doing the stubble on his beard, on his chin, sorry, um, at a later point. Let me know if you'd want a video for that. Just making inside his ears a little bit darker here and there. There we go. <coughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. I may, I may not go back and lighten his hair up a little bit more, but there you go. Hair all done. Get your questions into me and all that business. And again, for lessons, you know where I am. <laughs>